Elon Musk has been in Washington, D.C. to talk artificial intelligence with U.S. senators. But it's not the only story he finds himself at the heart of. He has been fiercely criticized by Ukrainian war officials because last September he denied the Ukrainian military access to his satellites. That denied them the opportunity to launch an attack on Russian warships in Crimea. Ukrainian war officials are saying that due to what they call a cocktail of ego and ignorance, Ukrainian lives have been lost. It's a point I put to Elon Musk when I caught up with him yesterday in Washington, D.C. Has your ignorance and ego cost Ukrainian lives, sir? A Ukrainian official says that you have enabled Vladimir Putin as an aggressor. What do you say to that? Vladimir Putin, cost, Vladimir Putin calls you outstanding, Mr. Musk. Do you appreciate that? What would you call Vladimir Putin? How, has your ego and ignorance, sir, cost Ukrainian lives? A senior war official says it has. It is concerning to see a certain spy reporter taking a hawkish approach and pressuring Elon Musk with what could be seen as biased or provocative questions. This reporter seems intent on blaming Musk for the loss of lives in the Ukrainian-Russian proxy war, attacking his character and integrity, and mocking him with the fact that President Putin thinks Musk is outstanding. Well, that's a fact for most people's opinions on Musk. It raises the question of who authorized the Ukrainian military to demand the use of Musk's technology. Such actions could be perceived as an overreach, and it's important to consider the boundaries of authority and responsibility in such matters. I'd like to discuss the concerns arising from Elon Musk's decision not to allow his company, Starlink, to be used as a military asset in a conflict unrelated to his business interests. Let's think about this logically, it's evident that Musk's reluctance is rooted in ethical considerations. If he were to grant permission for the use of his satellites in an attack on Russian warships, it could implicate him in the consequences of such actions. Elon Musk, I believe, would not want the burden of responsibility for any loss of life, whether Ukrainian or Russian, on his conscience. In fact, many should thank Mr. Musk for his decision, as it may have potentially prevented a larger conflict by denying the use of Starlink. In conclusion, my thoughts are that maybe if the US and its NATO allies refrained from funding and pushing this war at the detriment of taxpayers' money and opted for diplomacy and peace negotiations, then maybe the massive loss of lives on both sides could have been averted. But all I see is further escalation and blame where it's not legitimate. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.